Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about the Dungeons and Dragons AI accusation OSR Indie Tetherball Bonk. Uh, it was the last crisis of, uh, of 2023, which was the most cri Dungeons and Dragons crisis filled year in the history since 1974, right? The 49th year of, um, the 49th year of Dungeons and Dragons, I think, was filled with crises because these crises were ginned up by the OSR and the Indie. Why? Why did they gin up all these crises, like literally a dozen crises in, um, in 2023? I think the reason why was, and I very much understand this, the OSR and the Indie have had 50 years to compete and the entire industry has done nothing to present any real competitor to Dungeons and Dragons. And this is kind of like a, a temper tantrum, right? Like like this year was just like, we're gonna throw everything we can at Dungeons and Dragons. And I think, and then, and really Dungeons and Dragons emerged out of the end of the year stronger, which is incredible. And I think it shocked, it shocked everybody. It shocked D&D &D, uh, you know, champions like myself it shocked OSR champions. It shocked indie champions. And it sh shocked this new group of champions who, who can straddle the OSR and the indie, which is going to be important for the OSR and the indie in the future because they're so niche and the OSR are literally dying that they're going to need these guys and gals who can kind of coalesce the OSR and the indie together, right? So what happened at the end of 2023? It was truly astounding. And the, the end of it is that it has reestablished the term social justice and shown exactly what social justice actually should be, right? And what it is when it arrives. So essentially, uh, this OSR indie Stradler commentator uh, actually accused Dungeons and Dragons of using AI art in this magnificent painting uh, that they did for uh, this magnificent piece of art uh, with a dwarf, with a sword, with a with sword and board, right? Literally, a fighter dwarf just charging out of you know a dungeon space, and he has a sword and he has a shield, right? And so this OSR, this this comment, this anti D and D commentator who who really expertly, especially in twenty twenty three straddled the OSR and the Indy and really kind of sold D&D &D 8 for all year and like was and was like number one in line to just spout you know uh to to claim what was false right to to say this good worthy beneficial thing Dungeons and Dragons is bad and you shouldn't own it you shouldn't read it you shouldn't write it you shouldn't do it you shouldn't own Dungeons and Dragons you shouldn't read Dungeons and Dragons you shouldn't write Dungeons and Dragons you shouldn't uh do Dungeons and Dragons, right? Do any any game but, right? Like, and was just, and literally talked about witch hunting, like did a bunch of witch hunting this year, right? And so this OSR indie champion, and that's what I'm gonna refer to him as going forward, uh, he just came out and he was like, hey, uh, you know, the new D&D &D 24 core rule book, primary art piece is AI, and just made this accusation, the D&D &D AI accusation, OSR indie tetherball bonk. And what, what happened was it, this thing just swung around like a tetherball, right? And bonk, embarrassment, bonk, shame for you, right? You thought you were going to bring embarrassment and shame to Dungeons and Dragons, but all you did was bring embarrassment and shame to yourself, to the OSR, and to the Indy. And now you've had to spend the last two weeks of uh, 2023 apologizing again and again and again because you were so blatantly wrong. It's powerful. It was, it was a, it, you know, so, and I think what's really interesting is, you know, why did this happen? Well, social justice, right? So basically that term fell out of use because so many people were misusing it and they were using it for, for ill, right? To cancel people, to, uh, you know, to get um, pretentious and Nah, I don't want to use the word pretentious. I have a new opinion on the word pretentious. Uh, to, to, to take people who were, you know, just wallowing in negativity and trying to drag other people's work down, you know, social justice was being used for that. It was, it was being used to castigate people who were doing good, right? 
And so social justice fell out for a while, right? But this, this is perfect social justice, right? This is exactly as social justice should work, right? So this, you know, this OSR Indian champion spent the year socially castigating, socially denigrating, socially downing Dungeons and Dragons, right? Saying, saying everyone, none of you should own Dungeons and Dragons, none of you should read Dungeons and Dragons, none of you should write Dungeons and Dragons, none of you should do Dungeons and Dragons, right? Just really socially uh, castigating it at every, at, at not even at every possible opportunity, at possible opportunities that quite by the lit, at, at opportunities that were quite literally ginned up, crafted, cal uh, just manufactured, right? And so this social justice, this was at the end of the year when there had been no less than a dozen a dozen D and D crises, right? That had been ginned up by the OSR, ginned up by the Indies, right? And it was, and this social justice occurred to so show the world, right? Hey, none of it was real. All Dungeons and Dragons ever did was just make the most quality uh, tabletop role playing game that's ever been created, and continue to embarrass their competitors, right? But what changed this year? is what their competitors were willing to do. And that included clearly lying. Like, you know, like and I actually, or, or either lying outright or spouting ignorance, right? One or the other. And, and so this was really a, an, a pretty, it was the last D and D crisis of 2023 and it was perfect. It was perfect social justice because it just, the, the, you know, the, you know, um, the OSR and the Indy were like, hey, D&D, &D, you got this crisis. Let's in, let's embarrass you and shame you. And all that happened was that the OSR Indy's greatest champion was embarrassed and shamed himself, right? And um, and it just tetherballed around, right? Now, before I end this video, the one thing was that I did think was interesting about the OSR and the Indy champion was when he was wrong and when he was proven to be wrong, he clearly apologized. He did it. And he did it. He he gave a real apology in an urgent on in an urgent timeline. That's impressive. I have to say that was impressive. And that's and that's why it was a tetherball bonk, right? It, it and I do think this OSR indie commentator. I think he has significant talent, and I think that he should be able to uh, scramble back, and maybe in twenty twenty four. You know talk about things he loves rather than spending a ton of time witch hunting, which is exactly what he, by his own words, he did in 2023. Every single word you just heard is my humble opinion. What's important is when I, I get to hear your humble opinion, when you get in the comments and send your traffic, please consider like subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.